we're going to do the crash up in the Southland Centre and there's a um, garden, a community garden around the corner. We're going to put some money into that as well and do that one up. Coffee mornings and stuff and like helping out in the like local community like gardening and stuff for the older people. We are helping the Woodland Centre at Eston with helping the animals and building bird boxes. I joined the art pool group and we decided to spend our money on a Manor Park care home like in the Tunnel People's Home and we decided to put a, a couple of benches in for the smokers and put some plants in and just make it a lot tidier and cleaner for them. We went to B&Q and just bought benches stuff like that. We got a bit of discount which was quite good uh, and we all cooperated as a team we got it done quite quickly like everything took out and we're just putting stuff back in place now. Redecorating things and where, as you can see, we're decorating the summer house. And we've got another group which is over the other side that are pulling weeds and doing like, benches. We organised the first. Organised it, yeah, and then we came out and started helping. We went to the, and bought everything. First. Yeah, we went into town and bought everything. Like got paintbrushes and aprons. Sweeping brushes, <laughs> gloves. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's absolutely great because I'm doing a garden but I can see there's things weren't doing which I don't have time to do and to get a bunch of young people like this and they're so nice, they're so good the people, so enthusiastic as well and you know they don't take any telling or anything and it, it's just great and, and to see you know things happening straight away it's, it's really good you know it's because it's a you know, it's so concentrated, you know, for a couple of weeks. It's going to be marvellous, it really is. Yeah, you're going to see such a difference. Um, it's called Friends in Red Car Cemetery. Um, we're going there and we're going to design an ark or something to put up to represent the 150 babies that were buried without a gravestone. We're going to be doing some sponsored work to try and get some extra money in to help them, so we're going to be doing, like, some flower beds and, you know, like, some bird boxes and stuff like that. So, yeah. So the sponsored work we'll be doing um, bag packing, hopefully in Morrison's or Tesco's, and then we'll be doing stuff like sponsored walks and stuff like that to raise extra money. Oh. Well, uh, first we started off digging in the trenches for the plants to go into, and then filled them in with the topsoil that we ordered. And then we've been cutting the grass and trying to tidy it up. Well, we had to sit down like to plan like what we were going to buy and all the equipment we needed for the job, and then. So a day we're going to go back to B&Q and price up all the plants and choose which ones we're getting. And then we're ordering an arbor to go at the end of the next week. It has to be like non-prickly and low maintenance because there's a crash behind you. So it's got to be no prickles because the kids are going to come out and play. So It's good. good. That, that the old people, because I think this is based for the old people to come out and sit out. So I think that they said they're going to benefit because we interviewed a couple and they said they'll benefit off this because they'll come out on the morning and sit and... Because some of the people who live in the flats live on their own. So they come to we every day with the other people just to socialise because they've got no one else. And, this, and we told them our plans about we and they said that's really good and they'll benefit from it. NCA!